Welcome back to another episode of Trail Talk. Today, we're taking an ATV, a side-by-side, -side, and a forerunner through the rocks. <laughs> Let's go. Yes! Listen, welcome back. <laughs> we have, we're in a challenge series right now on Trail Talk, if you missed last week's episode, you have to go back and watch it, because that was episode one. What are we doing? We're taking an ATV, a side-by-side, -side, and a large off-road vehicle. It's a forerunner. Can you see both rock crawls, Eric? Yes, I can. Yep. We're in a mini challenge series. Last week, we did speed, braking. You're going to have to go back and watch if you, don't, if you haven't yet. <laughs> Today, we're going through the... Even, it looks like longer, but it's the smaller rock size crawl. Sure. And then we're taking them through the bigger rock crawl yeah. and my personal vehicle is going to go through. So the point of this mini challenge series, right? We're not doing official tests. We are not official in any way, almost. Uh, this isn't scientific. There's no right answer. Eric and I were having informal, casual demonstrations. So what we're doing today Episode two of our mini challenge series. This is the rock crawl, clearance, and flex Ooh. challenges. Okay, so come on over. Last time we did speed and braking. And again, the point of this series is we really want to see, let's say you had three different friends. They all have different vehicles. Can you all like ride together, right? Mm -hmm. um, which ones are more or less capable at certain things? Are there pros and cons? There are for all of them. Uh, the Forerunner is representing a large OHV vehicle, off-highway vehicle, right? There's a three and a half inch lift front and rear. It's actually almost four inches, I think, in reality. All of the suspension components were swapped out. It's running Fox shocks, Icon billet everything, Walker Evans wheels, BFG tires. This thing is not stock, Eric. Not at There's all. There's no front sway bar, okay? That's good. That's gonna be good for this episode. Yeah. Um, the rear sway links even are from Dobinson. Like everything's, everything's changed. Rock sliders, thank goodness. <laughs> it's gonna be a day. This is the 570 Ultimate Trail Edition. So nice. Oh, and then uh, the General XP factory custom limited edition, right? So you've got the cool graphics, you got the, the beadlock wheels, Walker Evans shocks, super cool suspension, both the ATV and the General, which this will be helpful for this, you know, specific challenge, have high clearance arched A-arms. Oh, let me get a shot of that here. See this little arch? So that means rocks can fit underneath better than if this was a straight line, right? Yes. Arched, fits more rocks underneath. So. We are going to take all of these vehicles through the little rock crawl, the big rock crawl, and then we're going to just simply drive over rocks <laughs> and see how big of a rock they all can pass over. So when I touch one of these rocks, our off-screen producer is gonna start the timer. Okay. And then I'm gonna to get to the top. You see like the little like mound yeah, through the shrubs? Yeah. As I crest, as the rear wheel and tire goes over that mound, the timer will stop. Got it. Tell me your prediction. I think general, ATV, forerunner. Same. Okay. I, here's the thing, like this is where we get into a, a, a predicament. This is my car. It is your car. This is my truck. Yeah. I call it a truck. <laughs> so we're gonna see, I'm gonna drive my forerunner like I would if I was wheeling, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna drive all the other vehicles like I would if I was wheeling them. Sounds good. To each their own. Let's see what happens. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna change up the order. Forerunner, last. Okay. Let's begin. All wheel drive, okay. low gear. Got it. The producer's ready. When I touch the rocks. All right, here we go. I'm picking my line. We're grooving, Eric. Steady, steady momentum, steady throttle. My car has to go through it. <laughs> I'm letting the vehicle work. Kicking it up a little. Here we go. And the rear tire. 
The time, 26.8 seconds. Okay, that's the base. We don't know if that's good. No. We've We're done good. one run. I actually will say this, this ATV, you remember the green one last time? Yeah. Which by the way, if anyone has forgotten, retribution on that rock crawl is yeah. coming. <laughs> <laughs> More capable. I'm very curious to see, because that felt better than the green. Which look, is, this didn't struggle at all. Right, the dual arch day arms all helping, so. Okay, general is up. Ready? And I'm approaching. Low gear, same consistent throttle, and we're off. Literally, easy button. Easy button. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on. Eric. Yes. <laughs> you know at the time? Yes, what was it? 17.5. Like <laughs> That's just, it didn't even try. So 26.87, almost 33% faster. The, the times aren't actually official, right? Yeah. They're, uh, you know, this is a demonstration. Next up is my personal vehicle, <laughs> uh, the forerunner that has been quite modified. Okay, I'm in four low. I'm not going to use any terrain stuff yet, okay? Okay. So all the traction's off, four low, all wheel drive. Look down at the tires. Last episode, which you still need to go watch if you haven't. By the way, leave a like on all these episodes if you're enjoying this. We wanna do more stuff like this. So the tires are deflated to 18 PSI. So that helps for grip and traction. Let us see what happens. If you see like doom about to happen, please spot me. Okay. The tires are sure working well. Oh my, am I the most silent you've ever heard? <laughs> <laughs> you are, not even talking, not a peep. I am paying a lot of attention. You know what I'm honestly noticing? I have, I cannot see as much stuff. Oh yeah, you're looking good. Here we go, this section's up a little easier at the top. Oh my goodness. Woo! By the way, we mentioned this last episode. I don't even know if you need your helmet on in the Forerunner. We're just doing it so I don't have to <laughs> keep taking it on and off. We're doing this fast. Um, truly not as easy to see. So like if I'm in a the general or the ATV, yeah. out down this way, I have a good line of sight to know what's kind of going on. A minute and four seconds. Wow. So what was it? 26 seconds, 17 seconds yeah. for the general, and a minute and four for this. That's exactly what we thought would happen. We just didn't know how it would happen. Let's head over. <laughs> Let's head over to the bigger rock crawl. All right, all Let's right. do it. Look at that. Big. Yeah, if you don't remember from last time, big rocks, right? Yeah. Hole, and again, hole. Yeah. This is too deep for an ATV's tire. Yeah. Last time, we could not even mount the rock crawl, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but it was very muddy and slippery. Predictions. I think the ATV will be last. Just I we'll, agree. We'll see. We'll see what you can get it done with. Um, General. Yes. Easily the fastest. Yep. Forerunner. I'm so scared, but it'll do it. You just have to be yeah, careful. Yeah. I literally think I can do it. Patient. Um, the thing about these rocks is they are pretty even, but if you get in the wrong spot, it's bad. Uh, I literally, I don't know if, uh, we'll see. It's a wild card. We're gonna find out, you know what, right now. Let's do it. General Forerunner ATV. So Eric, once again, all wheel drive, low. By the way, on, on the last one and this one, I'm not in performance engine mode, I'm in standard. Okay. 
for better throttle modulation. So, here we go. Right side, no good. Let's go to the left side. I wanted to get around that big rock. And I want to thread this right here, come on. Come on. Yes, let's go. Smooth throttle, I'm staying position centered over the vehicle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Yes! yes. <laughs> oh my goodness! If you, if, if you own an ATV, I'm so sorry for try number one with the green ATV. Look at the difference. Yeah. One minute and 25 seconds. Okay, nice. And we thought that'd be last place. Uh, yeah, you did great. So, let's hit the next thing. You got it. Here we go. Kicking up. Keep just feathering through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. What? So, Eric. That I've forgotten the first time. That was 28.0 seconds. More than two times as fast. Yes. Less than half the time. Next up, Eric. Your favorite. Huh. Your own vehicle. <laughs> so, I'm still in four low. Okay. All wheel drive. I don't have any traction stuff on. I'm gonna not use my diff lock yet. Nice and slow. Slow, slow, slow. Look at those tires deflated. Dude. <laughs> They're just crawling. You're good. Slow. Uh, go this way. Uh, get down right. I'm still on the rocks. A little bit. You're going to come off. Go yeah. to the right a little bit. Slow. Okay. Slow. Down on right. Right hand down. Down a little bit. Very slow. Down on right still. Down on right. Hold on. Hold on. You're going to slide off. <laughs> I, would, I would probably want to back up a little. I'm going to come back a yep, little. Yep. And then down on right. Other right. <laughs> Turn to the right. Turn to the right. Okay. There we go. Yep. Slow. <laughs> You gotta turn right hard. Keep going right. Keep going right. There you go. There you go. Straight? Straight, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Down on right. Am I in the hole? No, you might. No, you're good. Down on right. We're going. Yeah, you're good. Nice and slow. Where am I in relation to the holes? You are past the holes, my friend. Do I need to back up so I'm on the rocks, though? You're on the rocks. If I keep going right, you're off. You're through it. Just keep going. Is this the end? Yeah. You're yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is awesome. Hold, just hold my hand. <laughs> hold hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. You did. <laughs> So Eric, yeah, that was last place, 158. For some reason, I literally thought that. Uh, did we touch the grass at all? No. Okay. So I we were kept on the rocks. A close eye. Not to you like were very here. close to when I kept saying down on right. 
you almost were Fell sliding down place. here and then everything would have been in the grass, but you stayed on it and that's, that's I think it was a great line. So what's so funny is uh, I kept wanting to bias driver because I thought I was closer to like here-ish. No. Not wanting to go in. Yeah, I, yeah, I and could so tell I that. was overcorrecting this way. See, this is the, the so in this too, I could I could hardly see the rock crawl. Right. Because my my hood. Could you hear me talking? Oh, I could hear you talking. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there's also the inside of me that thought <laughs> I knew where I was. First place general on both. Second place ATV. Yeah. On both. That was not expected. I right, don't think. Right. Forerunner. Last place on both. However, did really well. And you can drive home. And I can drive home. I'm good to go. Yep. This was the most dangerous test I was worried about. <laughs> so Eric. Yeah, what do we have going on here? Test number one. Okay. Drive over the rock. Okay. If you touch, you're out. Simple. Test number two. Drive over the taller rock. Yeah. If you touch, you're out. And here's test three. Vertical. Drive over this. I'm about to have a, a scuff on my skid plate. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah, let's check it out. Predictions. Do You can't look under the vehicles. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in so nobody can see. Nor can I. Okay. I. Th you go ahead and you go first. General first. Yes. Forerunner second. Yep. ATV third. I would say the same thing. Okay. Same thing. Let's see. ATV test one. Oh, did you hear that? It touched, I saw it touch. Oh my gosh. It touched. The ATV touched. It's out. I... What? Yeah, I see. Where did it go? In the back. Yeah, it does. It just, the back is just lower. Okay, Eric, I didn't think that was gonna happen. ATV's out. It's out. All right. The ATV can go over however tall that is. <laughs> Black. So that, it, the ATV touched the top little yeah. tippy tip. The general is all evened up. I'm putting it through the center. I didn't hear anything. No. Can you see at the back? Yeah, plenty of room. You can see daylight. All right. Forerunner. So here's the thing. There's a front skid and then there's the pumpkin. What's a pumpkin for people that don't know? Come here. Let's look at the pumpkin. Sounds, sounds round. So down here, <laughs> can you see my foot? Yes. This guy that yes. I'm marking. Yep. This is the rear differential and it is commonly and affectionately referred to as the pumpkin. So in real life, you would not just drive your diff straight into a rock. <laughs> no. So I am going to slightly cant the rear of the Forerunner. Yes. The ATV is that low across the whole back. The general, ATVs and generals are basically flat. They don't have different, too much hanging parts. So we're going to cant. Off center. For the rear. I'm approaching. Nothing. And I'm moving. Huh. And I'm not hearing a single thing. No, not even close. Next challenge. Here we go. New rock. This is the tallest configuration. Yeah. But we're not there yet. Right here. Yeah. Thing's tall. I'm centered. I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Dude. I didn't, Did you see? No, I didn't touch. Okay. The jet, this is now, yeah, this could be the end of the challenge. It's on. All right, let's see what happens. Oh my God. These tests are so unofficial. I feel like there's so much at stake. Oh yeah. <laughs>
All right, so here's, come on, come actually check this out. So here we go, RCI, dope company by the way, but not affiliated, paid full price for this. Aluminum skid, this is really gonna be the test. If it gets past that. Right here. Then what's next? So if it gets past that. Mr. Pumpkin back the pumpkin there? pumpkin is back there. And I'm going to avoid that. Yeah. And you're gonna have to help me because it's gonna be close. Yep, you hit. No! Can you believe it? <laughs> so actually, you, yeah, are you yeah. seeing now? Look at even here, you see this line? Yes. It started right here. And you couldn't really hear it until it started to touch back there. Okay, so I'm gonna have to back off of that eventually. The general XP is the last man standing, or woman, doesn't matter. Last vehicle still running it was the fastest through the rock crawl eric yes it cleared the biggest rock it did do we flip the rock up just for fun why wouldn't we let's try it out why wouldn't we pull the general through okay oh frosty hold on it's <laughs> it's rough <laughs> it rolled you ready yeah you already are probably laughing. You know it's gonna hit. <laughs> I'm being quiet. Oh! We've touched there. Yep. Let's take a look. Oh wow, it actually cleared a lot more than I thought. Right, right here. That is lower down than I thought it would be. I thought we might hit this front little section down here. Oh my goodness, if literally if the vehicle was a five millimeters higher, it would have cleared the whole thing. <laughs> the side-by-side -side was first in the crawls, both crawls, and first in the clearance test. Yes. Look how tall this rock is. That's huge. This it, is no joke. No, it's... This is like, you know? Um, the ATV was second Mm -hmm. in both rock crawls. That was a surprise. Yeah, it flew right through them. Especially, I thought the bigger tires on the Forerunner, I, I mean, would be way more helpful there or at least like make it competitive. That was a surprise. Lowest clearance though. Yeah. First one mm -hmm. out. Smaller tires, smaller vehicle, yeah. you know. The Forerunner, the slowest through both crawls, but didn't touch. I mean, that's, yeah. that's not nothing like, it totally was the slowest through there. It's not actually built for those things as much. It certainly can be built for them, and it is, and is very capable, but last through the crawls. However, though, it was second place in the clearance challenge. It was. And it just barely didn't make that last round, Eric. Make your own conclusion, right? We've said this isn't scientific. It sure as heck isn't. <laughs> Uh, we are not officially giving right answers or anything. There is no right answer. If you're going off-road, you're already doing the right thing. You're having a good time. You're making memories. The ATV, you could certainly put bigger tires on. Yep. Increase the clearance. You could change, you know, uh, you know, as long as it fits the owner's manual. Yep. Um, same thing with the side-by-side. -side. You could change the vehicle, as far as we're saying, where it still fits the owner's manual, and get different performance too. Right. The Forerunner has been changed a lot and is no longer basically a Forerunner in the, you know, the underbody suspension sense. Mm -hmm. So, so cool the difference is, listen, once again, we're not telling you go buy this, go buy that, but hopefully this was helpful to see out of the box if you're buying something, what's capable or not. The more I go back and forth with side-by-sides, the more I want the Forerunner to be like the camping rig, the hauling vehicle, and then use this yeah. to go have, you know, a little bit more fun and then not worry about the vehicle as much. So like we always say, please go on a ride, go out, take the family, go hit the trails, whatever you wanna do, go camping, be outdoors, and come on back for episode three in our little mini challenge series for the next episode of Trail Talk, where we're gonna put these vehicles through a little bit of a course, Eric. Okay. Okay. Time it, see what happens. Come on back though, you gotta have to come back. We're actually gonna do it right now, but you guys have to wait till next time. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in for the next episode of Trail Talk. We'll see you then.
Peace.